I'm Jim with Marine Electronics Installation. I'm here today to talk to you about frequencies for sonar. This is our third video in our series on sonar. First off, low frequency tends to work really well in deep water. Uh, sometimes 5,000 feet or more depending upon the power levels. Uh, it's a low detail frequency but uh, does really well at depth. And um, medium frequency would be somewhere in between for mid depths, maybe down to 2,000 feet maximum. Uh, it shows more detail than what low frequency does, but uh, not as much as high frequency. So this is really a mid performance. Sometimes this is a really good all around frequency um, if a boat's going to stay in depths between 100 feet and 1,000 feet. This can be a really good frequency for that. High frequency, um, I tend to think that high frequency starts out around 120 kilohertz, goes up to about 250. And uh, this is more of a shallow water frequency. If you have enough power, it can get down to 1,000 feet or more with uh, higher power units. But typically, this is, would be an inshore, coastal, um, offshore, up to two or 300 feet, really good performance there. You get a lot of detail with high frequency that you don't with mid and low frequencies. So um, if you're fishing those shallower depths, you want a lot of detail, high, fre high frequency tends to work out really well for you. Uh, these frequencies can apply to traditional sonar or side imaging. Um, any of the sonars, these frequencies will apply. Um, typically, side imaging will have a higher frequency. A lot of side imaging units are 455 kilohertz. Some of them are 800 kilohertz. Um, there are a few lower. Furuno likes to run their uh, their side imaging and 3D imaging around 165 kilohertz. Uh, this gives them the ability to get a little deeper than some of their competitors, but uh, with a little bit less detail. Um, there are some tricks to picking up a little detail, even though the frequencies are lower. Uh, chirp is one way of doing this. Um, they have some res boosts, some tricks that they use to get a little bit more detail out of the lower frequencies. But for the most part, the lower the frequency, the deeper the water, and the less detail. Higher the frequency, the shallower water, but more detail. Um, that is pretty much the rule of thumb for these frequencies. And uh, a lot of times, depth can be increased by adding power. Um, we can use black boxes to do that, or some of the built-in units are more powerful than the other competitors. Um, but even with a high frequency transducer, if you get enough power, you can get down to a thousand, even fifteen hundred feet or more um, with a lot of power. So uh, sometimes you can make up for some of that uh, lack of performance at deeper water by adding a black box, is what a lot of people like to call it, um, an additional box that goes on the system that increases the power output of the transducer. That's it for frequency, and we'll have another video out soon. We'll go into more detail uh, on sonar. Thank you for watching.